Hello again. In the last episode, we died. And then, death gave us a second chance. He locked us in this chunk, and set us on a mission. In order to complete this chunk, we must skill and fight our way to complete every task and become Zarek's champion. Wait, wait, wait. There's no way that you could do this. I've done several raids on my account, and I've only seen one purple. It would take you at least 5 to 10 years to do this, and you'd surely give up before then. Hear me out. This is how I'll get this chunk done in less than 2 years. Welcome to episode 2. Now let's pick up where we left off. We got a dark relic from our 14th chambers, and we decided to use it on agility. And why did we use it on agility? Well that's because I had no idea what I was doing. While agility is a great skill, it just isn't worth training on this account. You get less than 1 XP per cross, and it doesn't seem worth putting the rest of the relics on agility. After realizing the flaws in lamping agility, I decided to take a look at the other possible skills that I could lamp. So first off are these three skills, which we have not unlocked yet, and cannot unlock in this chunk. Therefore we cannot lamp these skills. After taking those three skills out of the equation, there are three skills left that I believe will benefit the accounts by lamping them. First off, we'll be lamping crafting in order to make a hard leather body, which will be a best in slot in this chunk. In order to make the hard leather body, we'll need 28 crafting, and we'll use the hard leather and the needle and thread that we get from baby implings. Unfortunately, crafting is a non-raid skill, so we don't get full XP from using the dark relics. Therefore, we'll have to use the XP lamps and Books of Knowledge in order to get to level 20 crafting. And once we make it to 20 crafting, then we can use Sapphires to get to level 28. But this is not where crafting ends for us. With our chunk rules, we'll have to get to level 43 crafting in order to cut a diamond, because that is the highest level requirement in the chunk. The second skill that we're going to be lamping will be mining. We need to lamp to 10 mining in order to start mining stars. Once we unlock star mining, then we'll need to get 90 mining in order to mine a tier 9 star. Mining will be helpful for the account so we can more effectively do the guardian room inside chambers. 90 mining is a huge grind to add to the chunk, but I'm actually really excited for it because it'll be some really good AFK time. And the final skill that I plan on lamping on this account will be farming. We can't train in farming from level 1, so we'll have to lamp it to level 27 in order to pick Golpar. And once again, since we unlocked the skill of farming, we'll have to go to level 55, which is the highest requirement to pick Noxfer. Picking these plants will be helpful for gaining more points in the future. Now since Dark Relics are actually fairly common, at a rate of 2 rolls at 1 in 33, we can actually use them to skip the early levels of combat as well. Now it's time for some progress. My first quiz master random, first mystery box of the account, and we get an onion. Alright, mystery box. If I get a mithril simi from this, then that'll be a weapon from a mystery box. I got nothing. <laughs> Literally got nothing from it. Now let's talk about a method that I learned recently 
where you can get a 50-50 chance at a purple light. I first came across Mega Skill Raids by watching some Twitch streams by Demo OSRS and Deviate. I then found out that other players pay boosters between 350 and 750 mil to do these raids for them. After creating Cox Chunk, I knew that I had to try this method out for myself. After studying these streamers for a while, I felt comfortable giving it a shot. Needless to say, I made a lot of mistakes on my first go around, and I didn't even get a loot roll on the chunk account. It was a white light as well. On the second try, I went with a 1 plus 22 scale, which is better for my attention span and for my sanity. Here's a general description on how the method works. First you need a main, with gear and stats to do a 2 hour long ohm. The most crucial item here is the ring of endurance, which greatly extends our run energy for the long fight. This is what a typical gear setup would look like. Next you need to scout the correct raid. You either want a Shaman Mystic Guardian rotation, or a Guardian Mystic Shaman rotation. Make sure your puzzle rooms are tightrope, crabs, or thieving. You do not want an Ice Demon at this scale. Next you need 22 of your closest friends. Or since I have Cox Chunk and 3 other alt accounts to help me, only 18 more friends to help scale up the raid. I want to give a big shout out to Candor PVM for coming through with helping me scale. They're always coming through to help me out when I need it, and if you're looking for a friendly and capable high level PVM clan, you can apply at discord.gg slash candor, link in the description, or join the clan chat candor and game. Thank you guys. Now it's time to clear the rooms. In the guardian room, we use alts to spec transfer and we reduce the Guardian's defense to zero, and attack and strength as low as possible to avoid damage. Now we can kick back and let max strength do its job. Once we get to the thieving room, we can have Cox Chunk do all the heavy lifting and get all the points. Then we can have the mains eat the bats for extra points. When we find a farming room, we scav and make potions for the rest of the raid. Once we get the required levels on Cox Chunk, we can fish or hunt and then cook the food for extra points. In the Mystics room, we once again use the alts to spec transfer the main in order to reduce the defense of the Mystics. And then we quickly Tebow the Mystics until they're dead. Next we have the Shaman Room. We bring an alt with Shazian armor to lure the shamans to this one spot where they get stacked on top of each other. Once they're lured, we bring in the main account and we chin them for massive XP gains. Next is the Crab Room, where we use our puzzle solving skills to do the Crab Room just like a normal raid except that they don't smash as long, so we need to use multiple accounts. In the tightrope room, we use a tank account to aggro one of the rangers, the one closest to our main account. Then we stand on these specific tiles and chin the rangers and majors in the front so that the other ones can attack us. And finally, we have the Ulm fight. We have to get through five phases of Ulm, and then the head phase, in order to complete the raid. First, we have two accounts, drop supplies in the room, and then leave the raid. That way, we have plenty of supplies to use on the ground during the fight. During the raid, Cox Chunk will continue to make food in order to gain further points during the raid. When Ulm's head is down to a sliver of health, we then log out on the main account 
and finish the raid off on Cox Chunk. Once we can get these raids down consistently, we'll be farming purples. Before we're able to do these mega scale raids effectively, we need to work towards some other goals first. We're going to start by continuing where we left off with Hunter. To get level 75, this will unlock Magpie Implings. And we can get a Rune Square Shield, Power Ami, and we can also get Rune Daggers and other good stuff from Eclectics too. And then we will finally get to train our combat. We're going to go for 40 attack, 40 strength, and 40 defense. Afterwards, we're going to start fishing. Going for 75 fishing and 75 cooking respectively. After fishing and cooking, we're going to grind a 93 hunter. This will allow us to get upgrades like the Rune Simi, Glory Amulet, and Rune Chain Body. During this grind, we will hopefully get 28 crafting to make the hard leather body. After lamping crafting to 20, we'll start lamping mining to hopefully get to level 10. After crafting and mining, we'll try to get 60 range. This will allow us to wear the red vamps and get us a lot of other ranged upgrades. This will be crucial for killing Ulm. After range, we're going to aim for 60 strength and on the way, hopefully get 44 prayer for eagle eye. After grinding prayer, we'll go for as high of a mining level as we possibly can. And then finally, 85 fletching for a magic longbow. And that's the plan. After all that hard work and after all these upgrades, this is effectively the DPS that I'll be getting on Ulm Head. I know that it's not great, but every range level after this is actually a pretty good boost. So if this doesn't work out, then all we need to do is level up a bit higher. Now let's get to it. Mystery box, come on. Body rune. Yeah, at least we can use it. Just got the Chambers of Zarek Veteran to 25kc, thanks to this guy for the carry. Yo, just got a Rune Dagger from Eclectic. That's big. It'll be a best in slot soon. And be able to poison too. That'd be pretty useful. Yay, another mystery box. Let's see what we get. Absolutely nothing. What a shame. Another mystery box. See what we get. Cabbage. That's the first cabbage on the account. <laughs> I guess to look at it in a good way. Let's get the first blue chaps. That is a best in slot. All complete. Oh, I just got the spiky vamp braces from an eclectic. Just coming out of a raid. Very nice. That'll be best in slot for a long time. Best melee strength. Best range tech. Here you go, another mystery box. Oh my god, that's sick! Yes! That's what we wanted. Mithril Simi. <laughs> oh, that'll be so useful. Oh, man, that's sick. And this mystery box sitting in the bank for I don't know how long. Oh, let's open it. I already got the Miss Sim, so. 20 Natures. That's uh, kind of the better, one of the better things you can get, I guess.
Alright, so last night we got a lamp on mobile. So I saved it for now and we're gonna put it on crafting, get a little too crafting. I'm very set on lamps and books going on crafting right now. Basically because I can't put the relics in it without getting less XP. So two crafting there. First level out of many. The lamps are gonna get us to 20 is the goal. There's 68 Hunter. Um, this is the level where you can bare hand nature implings, so it's another impling that we can catch. This is about the XP an hour that I've been getting, uh, trying a bit hard here. So, that's good. Next impling level will be 75. And also, um, after I catch a few natures, we can get Torstals, and you probably will see me with Torstals in the inventory. Um, just try and get stamina potions whenever we get a Dr. Jekyll random. So, be looking forward to having a torso in my inventory for the rest of the account's duration. <laughs> That'll be fun. Nature Implane, come on. First Nature Implane, our lander seed. Completely useless. We're going for magic logs and torstoles. Clean torstoles. Just got a battle staff from an eclectic implant, which is best in slot for magic. That'll be plus 12 magic in that slot. Making an auto cast, normal magics with it. It's cool. Oh, two of them, no way. Catch it. First magic log, hell yeah. And a cactus spine. First magic log on the account. Gonna need a lot of those. Here with another genie lamp, and we're gonna put it on crafting. And that is going to give us level 3 crafting. Getting closer. Only the big to go. Just got a nice genie lamp here, and we're about to get level four crafting. It's getting quick now. We have another mystery box here. Let's see what we get. Flyer. Hmm. So this is my first one of those. Forgot that I got a mystery box yesterday, so we're gonna open that up now. Huh. Okay. So in an unexpected turn of events last night, we went ahead and green logged the random events section. Definitely did not expect it. Got from the Sandwich Lady event, and it is beautiful. I love it. This is the second account I've got this on. Very funny. Uh, let's see what we get from this mystery box. 3k! That's on the rare drop table. <laughs> That's pretty rare. Got a genie random. We're gonna put on crafting. And a 
It's level 5 crafting. Getting there. Let's go. We just got another genie lamp. We put it on crafting. It's level 6. Getting close. Yep. We are now 7 crafting. And it'll only take one. One dunce event to get the next level or two more genies. Either way, very close. Seventy five hunter. New bats, but first I need cooking levels. But that is level that I need to bare hand magpie implings right here 75 magpie implings and that is amulet of power and a bunch of other cool stuff finally got a huge longbow from the young implings that I've been going for for like the star of this account yeah, wow, that was the first one. <laughs> that was kind of easy. Oh shit. Oh my god. That is so sick. Spoon fed it. Spoon fed it. After all the time that I've spent just to catch these things, I think it's deserved. There we go. Finally some stats on something. <laughs> Rune Warhammer. Interesting. My best Tecton weapon. Once I get 40 attack. No, 40 strength. 40 strength for that now. Interesting. Ooh. First recoils on the count. That's best in slot ring achieved. Let's just wear him. Not gonna keep it on. But that's pretty cool. These were just recently added to the magpie drop table. And I didn't specifically vote for it or against it. I think I skipped the question just because it didn't really change my count much either way. That's cool. Ooh, first tour stills on the account. That's two stamina pots, basically. That's awesome. Can't wait to get those. And that will conclude this episode. Even though we added more things to our to-do list, I still believe that we made some insane progress this episode. We grinded out 75 Hunter, now we are ready for some combat training. I want to thank everyone for the amazing support from last video. It was so much fun having conversations with you all in the comments section. If you'd like to support me financially, there is a link to my Patreon page in the description, and every penny will go back into making better content for you guys. Let's see if we can crush the numbers from the last video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and have a great day.